Hey guys, this is Mommy Loves Bags, and you're going to have to excuse me because I have my daughter's sound machine on in the background on the monitor. Let me turn it down a little bit. So this is the MM Delightful with the Pivone interior. This is the new model, and this, I don't even know, I think it might have been discontinued. Um, I used to have this in the old model. This is the new model. I'll show you some of the differences. I had this in the old model. I had it with the beige interior. So they have it in interiors that are similar to the Neverfull. So the there is the Azure with the Rose Ballerine, which is very hard to find. Um, there's It's hard to find people who are doing that, right? And then there is the Damier Ebene with the red interior. And then there is this one, the monogram with the Pavone or the beige interior. And I obviously went for the uh, Pavone. I love this color. I think it's beautiful. So, um, yeah, I received this today and it's stunning. It smells so good. The leather is so beautiful. So the old model had some major differences. Let me show you. One of them is this. So on the old model um delightful it had louis vuitton all the way across the strap this one just has the little louis vuitton still beautiful but i did prefer the old model and the way it had louis vuitton big across the strap um i sold that one about a year and a half ago it's similar to the never full and it was the same on the old model and that it has this clasp okay just like the never full has it's similar um, in that this pocket is amazing. It is a very generous and deep pocket. One of my favorite features of this bag. So here is my agenda, the passion planner. And just to give you an idea, let's see if I can do this all with one hand. Let's see, I have some stuff in here. Let me let me take that out, my beautiful six ring key holder. Uh, okay, let's see if that helps. So if we put this in here, it fits as far as the width and it practically fits as part, far as the height. Actually, it would fit. There's a little lip, so I could close that up. Just to show you, that's how deep this pocket is. Okay, so I love that feature. That's how deep the pocket is. Look at my hand, it goes all the way in there. Um, it also has nice hardware. Now in the old model, this was much more substantial, but it's still beautiful. It says Louis Vuitton on there. And then here, okay. I love the D-ring, so I have my um, authentic clay on there on this a D ring. Let's see, I'm not gonna. There we go. On this D ring. Also, this is where you would find the date code on the authentic, um, and on on this one as well, is in here. Okay, in the pocket. And this material is really nice. Like they did not. It's it's so it's thick and it's just nice. It's beautiful. Okay, this thing is smells so gorgeous. Now, I love on the new model what I like. The reason I sold my old model was because it had kind of, you know, this top is can be right underneath the arm, kind of like the artsy, which I did actually buy one today. So I can't wait to show you that. But what I did often on my old model is I did this fortune cookie and a lot of people did that. But I made that mistake and, and it was a pre-loved item. So it, somebody had already been doing it when I bought it. And so eventually, because I would put a lot of stuff in here, I like to put my keys, my phone, um, let's see, my keys, my phone, and my sunglasses in here because that's what I reach for the most. This started to sag and pull this down and it, I just hated that. So that's one of the reasons I sold it. Um, so I don't plan on making the mistake of folding this down. I'm just going to leave it open. I like it just like that. That's the look of it. It's a hobo style open like that. And I love the way that looks. Okay. So 
Here's another major difference from the old model to the new. In the old model, this used to move. Now in this one, it is it doesn't move. Now this part, this part will move a little bit, but this is it stays on um, on here. Also on the old model, it said Louis Vuitton on the ring, but just like the authentic, this does not say it here. The rivets say. Let me see if I can get that a little bit. Let's say Louis Vuitton. Um, on the old model, this was more of a um, a circle, whereas on the new model, it's a triangle. Okay, and so you have this beautiful leather here, and it goes on the side of the bag. Okay, no feet. It's on the sides of the bag and on the bottom. Okay, what else? Let's see. Um, so the thing that's different about the new model is this, that they took this from the Artsy, and I do love it. I love this. And this feels really, really nice. It's substantial. It's not cheap. It's also functional. You could put your car keys on this if you don't have, you know, I have my uh, key clay, my rose ballerine. I love this thing to death. But if you don't have this, right, you can put your keys. That's one way that people use it. I don't know that that's, you know, I, I could totally see that. You can put your keys on there, throw it inside your bag, and that way when you're ready to go, you can just pull out your keys. So it's an, it's an easy situation. Um, let's see, what else? That's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you a review and show you. This is the MM, there is a PM, it's a little bit uh, smaller, but I'm a big bag girl. Look, I have a, let me put in my agenda, which I always take with me, and you can see that it carries a ton. So I already have a good amount in here. Uh, I mean, it's decent. I have an agenda, I have my pouch for my Neverfull, my Sunnies, which I usually put here. My key clay usually goes here. Um, my six ring, rather. My key clay is here. I have two pochettes in here. I have this bucket pochette. And I have my Damier Bean mini pochette. Um, what else do I have in there? I kind of have just bits and bobs, right? So... Yeah, those are like my bits and bobs down there. Let's see if I can get some light so you can see. Okay, I have my wallet. Love this wallet. This is uh, my Victorine. Okay, I love this thing. Bits and bobs, some tissues. And you saw when I put all these things in, there's still plenty of room. I also like to put my headphones on the side because I reach for those a lot. So there you go. Like this is the way I would pack it. And you have all this room here. You have room here. You have room on the side. And you definitely have all this room here so you can put stuff on the top. So just wanted to give you a quick look at this beauty. Um, I like to put my, just like with my Neverfull, I like to put a... Um, what do you call it, uh, a charm, a bag charm, so that I can remember which side I like to the front. And so I like the pocket. Instead of it being close to my body, I like for it to be outside of my body. So I like to put it on my arm like this, where this is on the outside, so that when I need to, I can reach in here, because these are the immediate things that I have. I like to be able to reach easily in here. I do the same thing on my Neverfull. And so I put my charm here so that I know this is the front of my bag. And this part will be on my body. It will go on my side uh, underneath my arm, if that makes sense. Okay, so I am in love with her. I think she is absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend her. And I hope this helps for those of you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Bye. Again, this is Mommy Loves Bags. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I appreciate your, um, you know, being new subbies. Have a good one.